What's up, guys? Welcome back to Having Said That, the greatest sports show on the internet. I am your co-host, Adi, alongside Jay. What's up, guys? So, for this episode, we planned something super fun. We're yeah. back after yeah. two weeks yeah. together. Yeah. It's been a while, man. Man, it's been, been long. It feels like two months, honestly. Yeah. Jay had gone yeah. to Goa, I had gone to Udaipur. Yeah. We just yeah. kind of came back. Yeah. And we were so excited because Drake dropped his album yeah. this Friday. Yeah. Me and Jay are probably... Two of the biggest Drake fans. I mean, I'm in uh, his top 1% on Spotify uh, rap. Almost I'm, I'm actually so. in his uh, top 0.5. 0.5%? Yeah, oh, whatever. Shit, no. we'll, cool. we'll put this to the test at the end of the episode. So stick on till then when we have a game ready for you. I text Jay, 7th grade. Meet me at the corner shop. He be in there in 10, winging all the quarters up. Before we even get into this album review, I know Jay had something he wanted to get off his chest. Yeah, so. I think it was a little bit um, shocking to all of us, actually when this album was supposed to come out and we were going to talk about this album at length and have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, obviously we couldn't do this album review without mentioning that Takeoff has passed away. And that's something that I personally am really, really upset about. Just because he wasn't necessarily one of my favorite artists, but the Migos definitely, definitely had significant impact on just rap culture in general since maybe 2017. Yeah. I think when they took over and they came out with Culture and then Culture 2, it was it was crazy, man. Yeah, for those of you who aren't maybe as avid rap listeners as Jay and I, uh, the Migos, I'm sure you all have heard of them, in, uh, comprised of three, uh, yeah. three people, Takeoff, Offset, and Quavo. One of them passed away at the age of 28 in Houston yeah. uh, from, uh, a, sh- from yeah, a gunshot. gunshot. Yeah, yeah, 28, damn. So young. Yeah, super young. Man. We thought it would it would be cool to look back on, you know, how we were introduced to the Migos yeah. because it was actually through Drake. Yeah, it was. It was. And one of my favorite songs on the album that we'll get into later, Middle of the Ocean, Drake actually says, mm-hmm. Quavo sent me Versace. Mm-hmm. Some, it's a bar like Dude, that. Versace was banging back in the day, man. Yeah. You remember when we heard that and like... Tell them what it like is, the, bro. Tell them what Versace is. It uh, it was just a song that... I think it was a it was a Migos song yeah. that Drake hopped on the remix of. And I think Drake took the Migos on tour as he does with a lot of smaller artists, right? Like yeah. Lil Baby, Gunna. Do you remember well, Blockboy no, no, no. He as well? did, he, So he did the remix. And yeah. at that point, Migos, Migos was still very small. Yeah. So it was like a cool kind of shout out yeah, to he, them. And he does but that a lot. he took though. them on tour more recently. Oh yeah, it wasn't oh, back then. Okay, okay, okay. But either way, Drake does this a lot with like yeah. smaller. He does do artists. it a lot. Yeah. But I mean, I guess the Migos weren't small and upcoming when he took them right now. <laughs> you know about the small upcoming thing? I remember when Kanye did the song with Paul McCartney. A lot of people were like commenting, <laughs> Yo, who is "Bro, it's so cool that like, Kanye did a song with this small up and coming artist." <laughs> Arden was probably one of those people. Bro. <laughs> yeah, man, that collab was wild, bro. Kanye yeah. is yeah. We'll get in Kanye later, man. But. Yeah, R.I.P. Takeoff, dude. That Rest was, that was, I, that was it, sad to hear, man. You know, uh, Jay's always been a huge fan of the Migos. I yeah. personally did not love their music. Yeah. But I can't uh, I can't deny the impact that they had on yeah. the whole mumble rap culture. Yeah. Like, yeah. the fact that they literally made ad-libs cool. They did. They, they did made ad-libs, ad-libs cool, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, rest in peace. We uh, send love to him and his family. Uh, obviously Offset and Quavo as well if you're watching this you know (laughs) Uh, (laughs) but uh, with that said let's get into yeah let's let's get into the bulk of this episode which is going to be the Drake album review for her loss yeah with 21 Savage Jay what do you think okay first impressions if if you were to give me one word on this album what would it be because I have mine ready okay I can go right now on three two one Bars. underwhelming. What? <laughs> what? Underwhelming? Okay, before you didn't we like bro, it as much? No, no, listen. Before we get into this, I want to discuss what makes a good collab album. Okay. For you, what is it? Just how they how they flow off each other. I feel like this entire album was planned after the Jimmy Crooks song on Honestly Nevermind. And they were like, damn, this is like the only song that a lot of people enjoyed. Let's just make an album What's out of it. What's wrong with you? No, that's not how... I don't think that's how it happened. No, I think that's... The whole, I think that is honestly, how it happened. Honestly, never Your mind. Knife Talk listen, and then listen. Jimmy Crooks led up to this album. Like, they killed yes. it with Knife Talk. Listen, listen, And listen. then they did Jimmy Crooks. Honestly, never mind was a complete dance project, right? Like, yeah. that was, that was yeah, the yeah. genre. And this is his And they intentionally project, put that song at the end as a teaser for this album. It's not like they saw 
how well it no, did no, and no, then no. they I'm, wanted to I'm do I'm sure it was in the works before that yeah. but a big part of like Jimmy Crooks doing well led to like at least the speeding up of this release for sure though, definitely and, and we're gonna talk about the rollout for this album that I loved and everything to do with that yeah, but yeah, yeah. before we get into that for me a good collab album if you look at Watch the Throne mm. you look at um, the Linkin Park Jay-Z project mm. back in the day you look at you're gonna um, put that as a Kid Seagulls of album, course bro. it's a collab album and I'll tell you what makes a good collab album for me is when these two artists that uh, that come together create a sound a blend of their sound mm. that could not have existed for me this mm. album sounds like a Drake album with, with 21, 21 features yeah yeah I, I understand that but it is a good album it is good it's a great album I, that's why I said underwhelming I didn't say yeah, and yeah. for Drake underwhelming is overwhelming yeah. for other artists yeah I didn't know you felt that way this entire week I thought you were loving it I like, do love was, some that songs that was the vibe that I was getting from you that you were loving it yeah because I when I heard it for the first time and I don't think I've been this excited for like a rap album to come out in a long time Honestly, Nevermind was a surprise drop, so that obviously doesn't count. But mm. the, like you said, the promo leading up to this, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was real at first. Me too, You bro. know what I mean? I was and excited. I was like scrolling. I was like, damn, when, when was the last time you saw Drake do promo for an album? Yeah. I'd never seen him do promo for an album. So, so for those of you who don't know, uh, before this album came out, of course, they did Jimmy Crooks yeah. on the Honestly Nevermind, yeah. which was the teaser for the album. Then they put out a music video six months later for that same song in which there's just like a blank slate in the middle mm. where it just says this album is coming out mm-hmm. like next week yeah. uh, for yeah. her loss. Then they put out a snippet with Howard Stone. Yeah. They yeah. put out a snippet of the Tiny Desk concert. Did, uh, did you go looking for the full interview? Bro, I went, <laughs> I yes. Did. I was like, I was like, damn, I got to sign up to Sirius yeah, XM to yeah, do this yeah. shit. I bro. actually went looking for like the full length hour interview. I was like, what is Drake talking about right now? I man? honestly it was, thought it was like a cool like comment on like how these press outlets don't even matter because we learn yeah. about the press from yeah, the artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you it, know? it was such a, it was, it was pretty clever because it was just like, oh, let's do a fake promo run, but make a promo run out of it yeah. in the end. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, that's cool. Man. I think our producer, Sid, is a little bit lost. And he, honestly, y'all might be too. So Sid, why don't you voice their opinion and ask us what's... Yeah, no, you said that you went around hunting for the full thing. You know who Howard Stone is, right? Yeah. So he has a radio show that Uh he basically uh, interviews people on. Right. And Drake and 21 put out a snippet of them on the Howard Stone show. With him. It wasn't even with Howard Stone. Sort of saying that we are we're doing a full episode. It it just looked like a snippet from Uh, the actual interview. Oh, and you guys went to Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Dude, it was super confusing. (laughs) Okay. It took me like a promo. Yeah, yeah, it was a part of the promo. promo. It took me like a good day to figure out that it was like a fake like promo. But it was crazy, man. I honestly really, really like the album. Uh, also, because 21 has a collab album with Offset, right? Yeah. He already has one with Offset. I thought that collab album, in the way you're describing it, the sound that wouldn't exist without it, is definitely shines through on that album better. Mm. But this album was just, dude, it almost felt to me as if Drake went to Lil Wayne and was like, yo, can you just help me out with all these verses because i haven't heard yeah. a drake album in a while where he was just dropping bar after bar after bar like i'm listening to this album and i'm just like dude he is he is on a different planet yeah. right now dude yeah. every single line is a reference or a bar or something about someone like in middle of the ocean he had like three different nfl references three different dude it was he was all over the place and I love it, man. Yeah, I, I loved it. It was crazy. all all yeah. of Drake on this on yeah, this album. He was, he was great. But that's where it felt short for me is if you it have 21 a, as a collab, mm-hmm. is as a as someone who's your, who's the main collaborator on this album, yeah. all his verses sounded like they took away from the song. The tr- the Travis Scott song. Mm. Um what is it? What a feature on that Travis Scott song, bro. What is it called? It's millions. No man, it's called Pussy, Pussy and Millions, millions yeah. with Travis Scott. Twenty One is so unnecessary. Yeah. Travis comes and like make it would have been a classic Drake Travis song. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But he was like, he's like, oh, I I brought my like little cousin. Yeah, he kinda <laughs> has to play with us, you know. Like, <laughs> but I, dude, I feel like you're sleeping a little bit on Twenty One Savage on this album. He has some, he has some really good verses, bro. He has, uh, he has a line said that goes, um, "I don't show ID at the club." 
because they know I'm 21. Dude, <laughs> yeah, bro, it's a good, he has bars. Yeah, this yeah, entire bar. album, if I had to describe it in one word, is just bars. Like, dude, Drake has so many good ones. Like, it's, you know, Drake does stuff for smaller artists, as we discussed, right? He has a song, I forget in which one, I think it's like Broke Boys, I could be wrong. Yeah. But he was like, um, no, 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 it's on BS. You should have bought, uh, bought a bar, uh, verse oh, when you that, bought that, a house. That's uh, on um, that Middle of the a, Ocean. That was great, bro. I was just like, yeah, damn. You know, Sid was telling me he loves a lot from 21 Savage because mm, that's like one of his mm, more popular mm. ones. And there's this other bar in on BS where uh, 21's like, I hop on your song and make you sound like a feature. And mm. then Drake responds with like, I hop, I hop on a song and make, I make, make the label feel they need you. Yeah, bro, honest, dude, <laughs> that's true though, bro. The yeah. amount of people that Drake has just gotten signed because of him hopping on a feature is crazy. Before we go ahead, actually, sorry, Sid, to cut you off there, but um, I actually thought the cover was very interesting. I want to get your take on it. Yeah, I thought the cover was pretty random, actually. I just thought they... I mean, I know you found out differently, but I thought they just found this girl, put her on the cover. That's, yeah. I mean, that's all the thought I gave to it. Well, really. it is honestly that, but let me break it down for these guys. So the cover is this model called, uh, I mean, she's not a model. She's a nail stylist and professional adult dancer, a stripper basically in Houston. And her name is Ki Yasuka or okay. Suki Baby. Okay. And apparently this was shot by this artist called, a uh, photographer called Paris Aiden. And Drake just had this photo and he was like, cool, like, I want to make this the cover. It wasn't like yeah. a planned cover yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. And then Lil Yori came out and said that I actually chose the cover because I love the photo so much that I chose it for um, her loss. Lil Yori is kind of like everywhere. He's everywhere. Days, you know what I mean? Like, he's not like necessarily making music except for the Poland song, obviously, but like he's kind of everywhere, like creatively. Yeah. You know he's what I mean? Cool. He's is good. it is it too much to say he's the new young thug, like creatively? Because like he has such a unique style that he just kind of hops in and just tweaks people's sound a little bit, mm. a little bit and kind of like drives it towards. He had a verse on Donda as well, right? Yeah, great yeah, verse. Yeah, great verse. So like, yeah, he's, he's always in the mix. I know Drake and him are pretty tight as well. So mm. yeah, shout out to him. But uh, I've, Drake's I've, been, Drake's have like, he now has some of the best collab albums out there, bro. Okay. Uh, you know, like, no, okay, okay. Not. Do you not feel that it sounded so much like what a time to be alive, bro? bro when, right. Uh, when, right. Uh, when, what was it? Major distribution yeah, or privileged yeah. rappers. Yeah, 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 One yeah. of them, uh, when it's, when the beat started and yes. there's these weird, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounded bro, like what it time you, to be alive. Do you alive. not feel that Drake's run, like right now after CLB is mirroring his run uh, after nothing was the same where he dropped nothing was the same dropped mm. CLB both great great albums follows it up with an experimental album right in honestly never mind and if you're reading this and then drops a collab album with like ah. the hottest artist out there which was future which is now 21 kind Yo, of that's a cool right? take yeah. so like it it really I was talking to someone the other day and it really, really reminded me of just that run he had yeah. in 20, what, 2016, maybe it was? twenty Even earlier, man. 15, yeah, maybe. Yeah. And I was like, damn, he's had two peaks now. Yeah. Like, who, which artist has two peaks over, like, a 10-year career, man? It's wow. crazy. The longevity he's had and how relevant he stayed throughout that entire journey is crazy. I don't think I've seen anything like it. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anything like it. We, we, we probably saw listening to him at 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And yeah. we're 23, 24 yeah. now. So yeah. it's been yeah. a decade of it's, us listening yeah, to him. Yeah, it's crazy, man. You know, and so that's okay, what I'm saying. Okay, enough like, of hopping on his dick, bro. Wait. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. no people, okay. the, kids, the kids growing up that's, now, the kids growing up now, Maybe CLB was their first Drake album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. CLB was the first album that Drake dropped once they were fans. Yeah. And then honestly, never mind was like, you know, it was like kind of like a techno thing for like, you know, the, the kids and whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> he says on this project, he's like, you ignorant people call my album techno. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it's I know, I know. Tech. But it's it's one of those things where like, bro, we've come on the show and said it was like low key tech, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you what do you think of the title? Her loss. Her loss. Yeah. It's great. It's it it's it perfectly like symbolizes the entire album. Drake is just out there just spitting on people, bro. Yeah, he's you so passive he said, aggressive. You see bro, what he like, said about Serena Williams' husband? Oh I thought that God. was the funniest thing ever because the dude actually responded to him. And he responded bro, to him in such a nice way. He was like, I'm trying to be the best 
I'm trying to be the best man I can be, and if that includes <laughs> me being a groupie to my wife, then <laughs> I thought it was a cheap so shot, weird, bro. I don't what know why he, he said that. Uh, he's dude. He's what mentioned he Serena you? Williams. He just ba- he just randomly was just like, oh yeah, just bro. He literally side note. in in the bar in the yeah. middle of the song. He's like sidebar. Serena, Serena your husband's a groupie. Like yeah. that's it. That's all he <laughs> said. Just, so just out of nothing. Just out of nothing. Dude, Drake's <laughs> been dropping Serena Williams bars <laughs> for a while. Yeah, he's been dropping Serena Williams bars for a while, and it's and all about her ass. It's just I ass mean, like it Serena. is. It's all about her ass. Yeah. And I think he was even more upset when Serena Williams got married than when Rihanna got pregnant, bro. Yeah, you for know. Sure. So, so he was just. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he responded to him, though. That was the best part. I was like, this didn't need a response, bro. It and it was such a like well formulated <laughs> response. Like he was, it was trying in to be two the bigger tweets, guy. Man. Yeah, it was hilarious, dude. I don't even know who he was, bro. But let's get into some of the songs and like what we thought about mm, them. Mm. Uh, what were your what were your some of your standout songs? My favorite standout song. Uh, I liked "Middle of the Ocean" as well. I really liked the intro to the song. What is it called? Rich Flex. Uh, Rich Flex. Yeah. I liked Major Distributions yeah. a lot. Dude, when Major Distributions started, where he does that Major Distributions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought his song was going to suck. Like, I was like, what the fuck is it he on? It kind of sounded bro? like a DJ Khaled song. Right? Yeah, it's kind of low key. And then it just, it was a bangle. Dude, it's a great song. I like the middle pack of the album. Like, mm. there's like the, the middle of the album, the middle chunk. Like, same. You know what I'm saying? Exact same. Yeah, right? Because yeah, it's yeah. like, dude. There's there's actually some songs on there that just like I'll be working out or I'll be like doing my thing and I'll just like turn and I'll be like damn Drake really just it was just Drake and Lil Wayne in the studio and Drake was like oh do you like this one and he was like yeah drop it <laughs> like that's probably what happened because it's I haven't heard Drake drop these many bars in a long long time to me what I would have loved the album to be more of was Broke Boys you remember that song yeah. Yeah, that was the perfect blend of Twenty One style, Drake style, mm-hmm. and them actually creating yeah. something that was different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, if they had like five more songs like that on this album, yeah. it would have been a classic for me. Dude, you know what I just realized is probably the the link to What a Time to Be Alive and this album huh. is Metro Boomin. Is he on you this? You know, because no, yeah, he is. He's all over it, bro. I thought Metro Boomin and Twenty One are like. The one of the best producer artist duos I, out I there. I just bro. I looked at like three or four song credits of the beats I mm, really enjoyed, mm. and they were mostly like Take Keith, Wheezy. No, no, but the good, the really good songs on there are all Metro Boomin, and that's where Twenty One really shines. The the songs that Twenty One really okay, shines is, on tr- is are the Metro, Metro Boomin songs, and Metro Boomin is you know super tied with Future mm. and did a lot of What a Time to Be Alive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm sure that was the link as well. So Loki, I think he's dropping an album in some time as well. Metro Boomin? Yeah. Oh, I love his so, albums. So yeah, his he album's gets... great, bro. So he gets all, he is like what we thought DJ Khaled's album should be. Yeah. Like he has, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Because he's legit a producer and yeah. he will actually make great beats and get the best, best features artists. out of, you know, whoever he has on his roster at that moment. And, and he's not, like the, not just give his kid the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> like, well, he's like, he is like the Christopher Nolan of rap right mm. now. Like, he rolls with, like, a specific crew whenever yeah, he yeah. drops his album. That's it's a cool way of putting it. Bro. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. It's great. Um, like, I, I love it when he does that. Obviously, I, I don't know if this is real because I can't believe any of the promo mm. that they're doing, but <laughs> they, put out, they put out a snippet of uh, them performing on SNL. It's probably... I mean... I mean, they got point, Michael B. Jordan to introduce it, so I don't even... They got Howard Stern to interview <laughs> that, bro. Like, it's, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, I, at this point, who knows? Like, I haven't seen Drake. I also thought it was kind of beneath him to do an uh, album promo, man. Not beneath him, yeah. but like... I was surprised that he was doing album promo because he could. But it wasn't like he, that's, no, no, that's he what, found the perfect loophole. But see, that's what man. I'm saying, right? I don't like the. He I don't. He did it without doing it. Without doing it, doing it, it. Which I, I, which I is think comedic. Is like kinda, it's it nice. is comedic, but he he did have an album promo then. But I love he did that. Promo I love album. it. I love rollouts, bro. Don't you like rollouts? I do like rollouts. So I do. I just didn't think Drake needed a rollout. It like hypes you up. Like honestly, never mind. Dropped and then we were just like, okay, that's true. I don't think I've been hyped for a while it's like when you when you, want, when you go on vacation for me mm. a lot of the good part is the two weeks before vacation like what the what is the fuck bro, you like, saying bro the, what is, what is the plan like, up <laughs> the build up to it is so enjoyable yeah and so then you're just no, on vacation you're just like fuck no, 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 I'm gonna have to then go back and my real life bro. next week man like he's living two weeks in the future constantly <laughs> you know like, I, I, I get it like it's fun the build up is good you know you're building up or something yeah, but yeah, the vacation yeah. is the, the it's like yeah I understand what you're saying like the weight in line for the roller 
coaster is more thrilling than the actual roller no. coaster. No, 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 that's no, not no, true. No, like, I'm, I'm, I'm more hyped in reality. the line. I'm yeah, more no, hyped no, in is, the line than in the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Because no. when you're in the thing, it's over in like 30 seconds, bro. Guys, no. Yeah, Dude, because is. when you're when you're in yeah, the it's line, over in 30 seconds. You're seeing, if you didn't have that thrill of standing in and line. And seeing people like go and do that and then come back and stuff. It's amazing. Dude, it's I crazy, bro. Them. It's crazy. Okay, it's a different whatever. This album yeah. rollout felt like that. It did. But it did. They performed on BS on the SNL promo mm, thing that they mm. put out, which is one of my favorite songs. And the reason it is is because do you remember the outro on it? I have no idea what the outro is on it. Okay. Like I've heard this album. I was sick on Friday, huh. and I knew I was gonna love this album. I knew I was gonna love this album because the internet hates on everything. They <laughs> but hate they didn't on hate on this? everything. It's like it's like. Like a million Adityas just fucking <laughs> commenting, <laughs> commenting shit. So like, if there's something to hate on, they will hate on it. There was almost no bad reviews yeah. or like no bad reception of this album. And I was like, damn, I need to get over my sickness and like really enjoy life before I listen to this album. Because I don't want to associate it with, being, yeah, with sick. being sick. So I literally just listened to the album in one day, just back to back to back. But man, it's... It is super replayable though. I feel like I, this album the has a I lot of replay up, value. It does, for mm. sure. The reason I brought up that um, outro, BS for outro is because I think you can do it super well, bro. And yeah, you, yeah it's this it's this uh, French guy being like, man, I'm, oh, I do I'm know this. Oh, I do know this It's outro. Wednesday, I, do I don't it. care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't remember it, but I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. They have a lot of they have a lot of those snippets. Yeah, there's, there's another one somewhere. Even at in the there. end Drake of Middle of the Ocean, had, yeah, okay. Drake always has the snippets in there. What I did enjoy was um, there were like four or five Drake solo songs, mm. and then there was one Twenty One Savage this solo was a song. Drake. This it was, was a Drake, a Drake album. album with a feature with Twenty One. Yeah, literally, know, man. Sure. That's why. That's why I didn't. That's what Jimmy Crooks is. It's a Drake song with a Twenty One feature. But then call it a Drake album. I think the hiding behind this. And I think it's great. It's a no, great promo I, I, tool. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's a great promo tool as well for Drake to cover his ass and be like, if it's shit, blame Twenty One. You know? Yeah. yeah. But no, I feel like, dude, I feel like if you're on an album with someone and you're on most of every song, it's a collab album. Like it might not be like the quintessential definition of a collab album where like you kind of mash everything up and it becomes whatever. But it's a collab album. So you when, made it together. When Metro Boomin did it with Big Sean as well, that was a collab album. You remember that? Metro Booming Big Sean? No. Okay, whatever. Metro Booming 21 Offset. You remember that yeah, collab yeah, album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 has produced most of Drake's albums. Yeah. Why is that not no, a collab album? No, but it's album? different, bro. It's different. It's different. You, I mean, you roll with your producer. That's a part of you. You know, like Drake and 40 is like, it's assumed that 40 has collabed with Drake on mm. it. I don't assume that Drake is in the studio making these beats. Mm. Like, not even for one second did I think that. Like, it, when you hear 21, you know Metro Boomin is assigned to that song. When you hear Drake, you know that, you know, 40's producing I that song. I think you're wrong bro. about this, huh? I don't know what if am I wrong 21 has, uh, if Metro has produced a lot of the stuff on uh, this I album. know he's produced a, 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 like, a good bunch of it okay we'll check i that. could be wrong 21 i don't think would put a project out without including metro boomin though hmm. at this point i don't think i think they roll together now yeah they're it's, like a little it is click. what it is yeah we talk, we're talking about the album cover right hmm. and you said it's just a random picture of this girl hmm. Hmm. isn't the album cover so essential like the image of the album like why not i think, think so more about it? i i i mean no i'll defend drake a little bit here from the standpoint of i have also done that Huh. So sometimes you want to think a little bit more about your mm. album cover. And sometimes you see an image and it just resonates with what you've made. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, this feels like it. The Who Are You Fooling album cover yeah. was something we had shot. And then I saw it and it's like, okay, yeah, this yeah. is Who Are You Fooling. Like, yeah. this is the mood. Like, you didn't shoot it for the song. I didn't shoot it for okay, the song. Yeah. Okay. So, and dude, I honestly think the cover captures the album pretty well. That was my initial reaction. When I first I don't saw the cover, so. when I first saw the cover, I was like, yeah, this fits. With the pink background and everything, it fits. I don't know. Her loss made it seem like it was going to be a lot more like petty, the album, which it I would was love. It pretty petty, bro. No, it wasn't that Dude, petty. Dude, Drake man. had some... Drake was going no, at if, everyone, if bro, you, in, on this album. Petty, like, to his exes, you know? That's all of Drake's <laughs> albums, though. That's, like, every Drake <laughs> album ever. This is... City this album. is no, one... Right? This is, like, right. the only album where he hasn't been, like, man, I, I, I was staring into your eyes, but it felt like <laughs> five seconds, because... You know, we were together for five hours, but it felt like five seconds because it was we were with to get like the complete opposite of that. The complete, <laughs> yeah, he's laughing. You know what I'm saying, right? The complete like, opposite of this on BS, he has a line that I've even marked down here. 
Sid, he says, I'm a gentleman, I'm generous, I blow a half a million on you hoes, I'm a feminist. Yeah, dude, that's, dude, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, this album was the furthest thing from what Drake usually is, bro. Yeah. If you look at Take Care and then you play Her Loss to someone in 2011, hmm. they would not recognize who that artist was. So I think he stepped yeah, out of his. I, I think he stepped out of his comfort zone and used Twenty One to do that because yeah. Twenty One is usually on this. I feel like Drake used being the imperative. Yes, word, yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Drake used Twenty One's vibe to get out all his pettiness for me, yeah. in for his me, bars. The album's called Her Loss, and then there's a picture of this, as you said, like a stripper, right? Yeah. So it just is it Her think, Loss? Yeah. It like, just <laughs> made it just made me think, like you know, it's some very like deep, meaningful thing about like. Uh, people who are getting into the profession of stripping because they are like underprivileged. Oh, what? Like, what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Dude, that's like rationalization lost, for like, like, like you, this is all you need to know, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's what I thought. Did, no, no, like, no. yeah, there was a very meaningful. Uh, uh, dude, it's a Drake the... Twenty One collab album, bro. There's Drake like, has there never, bro. Drake Savage has never done anything meaningful like uh, of that. Oh, I mean, Take Care was pretty meaningful, bro. It was just him on his petty shit. It's just like <laughs> no, Take Care was pretty meaningful, man. Take Care was very meaningful. Yeah. What are you, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, okay, it was. Let's get serious for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we're on that page because we have to score this album out of okay. a thirty. Okay, okay. And the three parameters that I think we agree mm. on: one, replayability. Okay. Second, meaning. Like okay. you know, what 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 is the concept of this okay. album? Okay. And third, vibes. Yeah, vibes. vibes. Yeah. yeah, vibes, dude. Vibes. No, yeah. Let's is it vibes. like a summer album or like? Because <laughs> 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 no, uh, okay, honestly, no, never it mind. Be, it should be bars, right? You should you should judge it. It should by the be bars. bars. It yeah. should be bars. bars. But I said vibe yeah. because I said vibe because like when we heard honestly, never mind. What was like the one thing we said together? We were like, dude, I want to listen to this shit in yeah. fucking Alibag or somewhere or like yeah. I want to listen to this shit while it's raining or while it's you know yeah. it's like a, it was a great seasonal album okay I like seasonal. vibes more because it, it encapsulates the beat and yeah. the bars yeah, I don't want to yeah, neglect yeah. the beats yeah. you know because okay. they're awesome man I can't believe we have vibes as a vibes is, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so out of 10 replayability out of 10 it? replayability I would give it an 8 I think it's the strongest in, in all of these three categories I think replayability is the strongest one of them. I agree. I would give yeah. it a I would give it a seven point five. Okay. Simply because I there's no softer songs and I like listening to the softer shit. Okay. I don't, so eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. As far as concept is concerned. As far okay, okay. Here's where you <laughs> lose me with that uh ranking system. And this is why I'll actually rate it high for concept. What right? is the concept? The concept the concept is her loss. <laughs> and Ho is losing. I made so, the concept up right you know, now. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, uh, Ho is losing, man. Like, dude, Drake is coming out of his certified lover boy shell. And, and he's, he's like, honestly, never mind. Yeah, it's and he's loss. honestly, it, just, <laughs> do I have to say any more, bro? Okay, like, what are you giving it? I'm giving, I'm giving it like a seven, dude. Bro, come I'll tell on, you why man. I'm giving it a seven. Because he's literally, it's him in 21 being petty as hell, dropping bars I on wish, everyone. Bro, bro, I wish they were being more petty. They weren't being petty enough. Bro, I think I think they were being pretty bad. I give this a four. You give it a four on yeah. concept? <sighs> concept is weak for me, man. Bro, Ho is losing, man. It's her loss. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Vibes. 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 I'm going mm. a nine, bro. I love I love the vibes. I'll give it I'll this. give it an eight. I'll eight? give the vibes an eight. Okay. Yeah, that's actually fair. That's fair. But I mean just from a concept perspective, I like that Drake is now not kind of like simping as much. I, I agree. You know what I mean? I, th- I, I, love, that's what it was. I love he wasn't simping, yeah, but, but I, I wanted him to s- like be not so, simp auto. <laughs> so, so petty. Like, yeah, you know? I mean, he can't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he didn't fit in with his yeah, he can't do image that, that much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on one side, he'll sing about like looking into a girl's eyes for like five hours yeah. and then he'll be like, I blow a fi- 500 million on yeah, yours. Yeah, I'm a feminist. Dude, exactly, <laughs> like, bro. I like, I mean, his range... We we don't even need to talk more about his range. He's yeah. everywhere, bro. He's everywhere. So, uh, Sid, what are our scores? It's three numbers that are under 10, bro. Calcula- you calculations. Calculate? You don't understand what's going on, bro. I'm processing the loss of her strippers, <laughs> like, side. Like, um, Sid, uh, you should really watch... Have you seen Lil Wayne's How to Love video? Yeah. You should watch oh, that. That's, that's, awesome. that's what you're describing right now. I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that's, that's a very good video. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember so. that's, what you're, yeah. that's what you think her yeah. loss is right now. Yeah. See, Lil Wayne's so far ahead. Uh, <laughs> Jay, your combined total out of 30 is 23. And Adi's is 20.5. Okay. Okay. So... 
I did a little bit of weighted average, whatever, whatever. Essentially, we you all gave it a seven point two five out of ten. Honestly, that's, that's bang on. It is. Bro. Yeah, I yeah. would give it a seven point five out of ten. Seven point two five. Not even a seven point five. Okay, guys, that was the her last album review from the boys at having said that. And now we're actually gonna test because we both love Drake and we're mm. huge fans, obviously. Mm. We actually thought it would be fun to test uh, who knows Drake better. Yeah, yeah. So Sid has prepared a little bit of a quiz. Sid, you want to walk them through yeah. what it is? So yeah, this is the who's the biggest, uh, who's the bigger Drake head quiz, mm. and uh, it's actually it's going to be a quiz on Drake, on his music, on his life, and it's going to be a bit of trivia, a bit of like other fun stuff, and some lyrics based stuff. But we'll get into it. I'll explain to you as we go ahead. So I think yeah, it's time to bring out the whiteboards and let's go. We go ahead. I love these new whiteboards, man. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna get stickers yeah. here Jay, real wanna... soon. Okay, so guys, basically the Drake uh, quiz has three rounds. Uh, we're getting into the first round now, which is just a simple Drake trivia. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions, some with options. You'll give your answers, do the reveal, and whoever gets correct gets the point. Mm-hmm. Cool, I'll both cool, get cool. correct. You'll both get a point. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Which musician did Drake's father play drums for? Jesus Christ, what? bro! Dude, who has written these questions? <laughs> that was the first question I'm answering. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do we have options? Okay, now nah, I give you options. Yeah, this. yeah, okay. for sure. Um, Ray Charles, James Brown, Jerry G. Lewis, or Johnny Cash? Okay. Uh, yeah. Eliminate I, the other answer. That's what I'm doing. Like come to. There's no way this man played for James Brown, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or Johnny Cash. So. Yeah. You know, it was, I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Kind of. No. Okay. Three, two, one. Jerry Lewis. Yeah, me too. Uh, I picked that yeah, as well. Ah, let's go, ah, let's go dude. Yeah. Also, I was trying to think of like a Memphis-based artist. Exactly. His yeah. Dad. And it's and I don't even know this guy. It just sounds like Memphis. It does sound like he's from Memphis. Oh, y'all don't know him. No. You know Jerry no Lewis? No, but I think you <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you guys don't know who Jerry James Lewis is, bro? You fucking idiots. So, one, one, Sid, next question. Who is tattooed on Drake's left tricep? Oh. Ah. Um, okay, should I give options? I'm cool for options. Yeah, I'm cool for options as okay. well, but I'll grab my answer so, anyway. Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, I'll Michael Jackson. I feel like he has all of these guys. That he I has do, all I of just them. don't it's know just the about which leg. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've read my answer already. Uh, I'll repeat. Left tricep. I, left it tricep. It does not say <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have my answer already. Okay, I'm going to go... Write your answer and then we can discuss a little. Because you think I, it's Lil Wayne. I think it's oh, Lil it Wayne. Oh, it is Lil Wayne? I think it's Lil Wayne. <laughs> it, it's either Wayne or Jackson. I thought it's Nicky because like... I, I, th- he... I thought he would do the girls on his arms and then the guys I don't maybe... think he actually has a tattoo of Nicky. Maybe he okay. has her name, but I don't think he has a tattoo of her. I know he has a tattoo of Lil Wayne somewhere. Yeah, me too. And MJ, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne, yeah, yeah. Wayne, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it's, yeah. All right, All right. Two, one to J. Two, one to J. Oh, uh, did you say left tricep? Yeah. That's close to his heart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a dad who like the Beatles and everything. Okay, Are you a Nicky was... fan? Am I a Nicky <laughs> fan? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is an easy one. I think you can guess it. So I'm not going to give you options. Okay. But what religion was he raised into? Oh, okay. Okay. Three. I had to complete two, the one. Yeah. Judaism. Yeah. Fair. Jewish. Jewish. He was raised in Jewish. <laughs> 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 Yo, Phil, if this is gonna get me cancelled, just blow this shit out, bro. Nah, bro, you can't control the Jewish media. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> That's like someone asking you, like, you speak Indian. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. Like, <laughs> so most of the trivia stuff is more like personal life based and all. Okay. When it comes to the music based stuff. Okay. Okay. okay so it's things. three, two. How about we do what? Two more questions. Two more. Yeah. Which sport did Drake play when he was young? And I think I'm gonna give you options for this. Do you have any idea? I'm down to risk it because I have. Yeah, to. I'm gonna risk it. I have no idea either. Okay, let's go. Because I mean, I mean, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be football, basketball, hockey. That's gonna be the options. Yeah. So like, just pick. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're making um, assumpt- stereotypical assumptions, Jay. I think we both wrote the same thing, right? Oh, oh, oh. I was actually oh. going to write ice hockey. Yeah. Okay, so it's hockey. Oh, dude. Yeah. But, no, it I, is I, ice, I, hockey. ice hockey. In, in Canada, Canada okay, it's ice yeah, hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice ho- everything is ice hockey. Bro. Dude, I was going to say. So he was enrolled Sometimes in Sometimes assumptions are assumptions for a reason, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was enrolled in hockey by his mom. And he played as a right wing for the Western Red Wing. He played a right wing for the rest on the Western Red Wing. Drake seems like the guy who'd be like super bad at sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I actually wrote basketball and then wiped it out because I was like, he's probably trash. At I feel like, like he plays with his friends and like makes them lose. Like, have you or they seen, let him win. Bro, yeah. have you guys seen the clip of like Drake winning the Drake League? 
in his house. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, uh, shot wasn't falling. I was like Kobe uh, against the Celtics. I just played defense. Like, I was like, oh, what, <laughs> what is going on right now, bro? It sounds like the most narcissistic thing. Dude, dude you nice. have to watch this video. <laughs> I did what Kobe did in game seven against the Celtics. This is not about falling. Yeah. Yes, sir. Stop that. Okay, Charles. Right, so we're so tied. Three, three. It's uh, three all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ah, of course, the, the score's going to be total. It's not each segment, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last question of this segment, uh, which is a music-based so one. Three hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. What was Drake's first number one song on the Billboard Top 100? Ah. Oh, I think I know this one. Right? Yeah. Oh, Jay gets it. Jay gets oh, what? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his first. That was his first number, number one, one as his song. Got it. Got it. Got that it. That was a yeah. I, was forever number one at any point. I don't know. So this one dance, I actually remember hearing that one dance was the first Drake song that hit number one. I was like, I can't believe it. Yeah, but he's had many real. songs on the Billboard hip hop charts yeah. that have gone number one. Ah, okay, this, this went just... on the general Billboard ah, number one. That's dope. So the next round is going to be a face off round. So I'm going to give you all a topic, like name all of Drake's dash something. Mm -hmm. And you have to go one by one, like keep saying till someone chokes. And then mm. the moment someone chokes, that person mm. knows. I think he's going to be good at this one because he's like... But my memory sucks. But, you know, but, your, but your, me but your music memory, this... like... You know, is is better. The last time we did this, you won. The yeah, but TV. that was that was TV shows. This yeah. is this is his, bro. I put my money on you. This is like what they do as like a fake this thing, like a fake out, like <laughs> Jimmy Fallon and shit. To like bump shit, up bro. the fucking. Yeah. Alright, guys. So like, get ready because it's gonna be like a quick rapid thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So name all the songs of the album CLB. Uh, okay. I start with Adi. Hmm. Fuck, bro. No, dude. Nah, nah, nah. Jesus. Okay, wait, wait. Start that again, bro. Just start with it. No, no. Oh, that's not what you're saying right now, bro. Nah, 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 nah. nah. nah that's nah, not nah. cool. I'll okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. I'll, I'll, start. I'll, I'll start. give it to you. I'll throw Fine. it over to you, okay? okay? Cool. 7 a.m. on the bridal path. It's 6 a.m., right? So no, 7 a.m. Pipe down. Fountains. Get along better. Get along better with your friends. He's procrastinating. No, not at all. Way too sexy. Um. Too sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From procrastinating. Oh, this guy, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That has to be. No, 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 no. He's gone. He's gone. I, I think this this genre was supposed to be yours, anyways. He choked on the first one. Yeah, he did choke on yeah. the first one. I don't like that album. Man. I know you don't like that album, which is why I was happy it came out. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, take care. Take care would have actually CLB. been very competitive, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that goes to uh, Jay. So five three. The next one. Name all the features, Jesus, dude, on uh, more life, more life. Oh, okay. he's got this one, bro. Can I go first? Because I gigs, gigs is on more life. I don't know. Said so you'll have to cross check all of this. Okay, I'll give it to you. Gigs, uh, Young Thug, Young Thug, Quavo, Two Chains, Skepta, George Smith, Samfa. Nah, no, Samfa he's not on nah, 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 nah. I'll, I'll, I'll take this one. I'll take yeah. this one. I, I don't. I was, I was also thinning out. CLB there. was your more life for me. I didn't like more life a lot. When oh, it came I love. More I life. have actually grown to like more life specifically because of honestly never mind. Mm. That's so it. There was black coffee. If I'm pronouncing it right, Horha Smith. Georgia Smith. Georgia Smith. Yeah. <laughs> she was Hispanic. Jorge Smith. Jorge Smith. Jorge Smith. Jorge Smith. Jorge Smith. <laughs> yeah, you got the others. <laughs> that was Kanye the unhealth, West. bro. <laughs> Kanye West was a uh, feature. On uh, Mola? On Mola, yeah. Glow. Oh, Glow, yeah. Oh, wow. So that goes to Adi. Adi, you lead, uh, sorry, Jay leads 5 4. Okay. And the last one for this round is name all of Drake's songs that have been in the Billboard Top 10. Top 10. Oof. Okay. I'll start? Yeah. Three, two, one. One Dance. Hotline Bling. God's Plan. Pop Style. I don't think that's been in Top 10. I, I don't even know. That. Do we yeah. know? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take the... Pop Style, yeah. bro. It wasn't even like... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know what? I, did they release... You could have said version? Forever. Did they the release motto? the version with Jay-Z yet? I mean, with wasn't there a version with Kanye With Kanye and Jay-Z. And Jay -Z, they and then released the Jay-Z version. They released that as the single and then they he took it off yeah. for the album, which I never Weird. understood. I really Weird. thought this one would go longer. Was... Yeah. Yeah, man. The, that is a very specific parameter because it's like you have top to name 10, songs yeah. top 100 you can name all of his yeah, songs yeah, literally. and it'll be in dude top nothing was the same has spent like something ridiculous like 250 something plus weeks yeah, on, on the, the billboard chart. top 
a uh, hundred. That, like, isn't that insane? insane? That's like f- ridiculous. Same, huh? Which and is dude, an album that's like yeah. six years old. This has, is still on the Billboard charts yeah. to this day. Crazy. Of top ten. No, no, no uh, top, top hundred. I mean, but, yeah, but yeah. come on, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. He broke like Michael Jackson's record with and the, the Beatles. Beatles. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Then he broke the Beatles record and then he got a tattoo of the Beatles and I think he's walking with them or some shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're walking with them? What do you like, mean? Because, you know, they had that album cover where ah, they're walking ah, ah, and then he's walking with them. I thought ah, that was lit. That's sick. Yeah. It's five all at the end of round two. I it's don't a know. very organic five all. I'll give it that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it is pretty organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The round three, I think it's going to be fun. This is I'm, actually how it would go, though. Because we are equally no enough yeah I, I i don't know this a lot of the success of round three depends upon how i do this so mm. let's get into it Gonna but suck. essentially what <laughs> round three is is i have a bunch of lyrics okay. of drake songs okay and i'm gonna say them out loud okay but not at all in the rhythm very haphazardly very brokenly okay the lyrics, the correct lyrics, but in a very haphazard way. And you'll have to guess which song that is. If we both can't guess the song, does that mean you have to sing the song so that we yeah. can get it a little bit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's that's like a tiebreaker. Right. That's yeah. the hint. No. Okay, if, okay, if I know the song, I'll sing it. If cool, I don't cool, know, cool. then I... Let's, you know, to pay tribute to, uh, 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 to take off. Yeah, we'll do ad-libs as the, as okay. the buzzer. I think that's an appropriate tribute. Getting cookie, I'll, yeah, do, I'll cookie. do mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, dude, rest you in peace. Yeah, rest, rest in, in peace. peace, dude. All right. So the first song, "White Friend," said, <laughs> "You N words, <laughs> crazy." I hope. <laughs> no. I hope no one heard no that. One. Oh, I hope no one heard that. I hope no one heard that. Yeah, I hope. Shit! No one heard oh, that. dude, I know this song. Me bro. too, man. This is actually super hard because I don't have a Shazam track in my head. Oh. But, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'll, I'll continue. Mm. I, I hope no one. Do I know this song? I know this song. Cause Mama, um, trust issues. Bro, dude, this is hard, bro. So I have to wait for him to answer. To, I'll try oh, again. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. Dude, I seconds. know the song. I cannot oh, think of the name. I literally cannot think of the name. Can you, you sing, sing it for me, please? We've spoken about this song, and I. Bro, you, you can't give him clues. No, 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 why? Why? We've spoken no, no, about no. this. Then why not? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say my story later. Then yes. You can okay, say your story go. right no, now, no, bro. No, no. Basically, I didn't like it. You like it. The song. Ah, her white friends say. That I know. I know. I'll sing it for you. Her white friends say you. Crazy, I yeah, hope yeah, no one yeah. heard that. I hope no one heard that. I know, I know, I know. Come on, guys. Yeah. Sing some more okay. lines. Okay, that's too much time. Um, it's Marvin's Room. Oh, oh my bro, God. I, I oh, had that chorus on. in my head, bro. you bro. picked that, but bro, yeah, 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 yeah. I even had the fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, yeah. Oh, you had that? You I had Marvin's Room. I thought it was trust that's, issues. No, 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 no. Yeah. That, that's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Man. Damn. Oh, that's embarrassing, man. That is. I don't know how I feel about that. It's... Is that difficult? It's difficult to, to guess these. It songs. was difficult. Why did you so much have to read words? <laughs> I, I, I didn't even focus. I wanted to break it down. Friend. I was like, <laughs> said. That <laughs> 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 was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Running on treadmill and only eating salad sound. So smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sing, sing, sing that <laughs> shit, bro. Sing that shit. He's doing this on purpose. Graduated. Yeah. College. Like Mama, you... make me proud. Yeah. No, no, chairman only in salad. Sounds so small like you graduated college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> Dude, That's why you're saying mama. I kept wondering why he said mama last time. I was yes, like, why is he saying mama, bro? I was like, is that a new nickname he has for you, Sid? Like, <laughs> that was my buzzer, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, six five. Six five to Adi. Can we make him sing one of these? Really yeah. Make him sing this one, one I don't know, so I won't be able to. But uh, okay, so it's a new one. You. No. Sid, you can bro, read it, Sid, man. you can read it like normal. You don't have to confuse no, us, bro. That's easy. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's I'm not telling easy. you right now. It's yeah, not easy. read it. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> you okay, sound <laughs> retarded when you do that, bro. You're always difficult. Nah, Sid, just read it like normally, bro. Okay. You know, I spend money because spending time is hopeless. And now I pop bottle because I bottle my emotion. Oh, that's I like know. every Drake song. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> ever. I don't know this at all. That's every Drake song ever. Are there more Do you lines? Have it written no, down? I, I, I have it written down, but only like four lines. Repeat. 
you know i spend money because spending time is hopeless and no i pop bottle cuz i bottle my emotion i have no idea what it is can you sing it you can't sing it this is no. some obscure <laughs> aman shit yeah, yeah 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 it's probably from like it's like a cypher from... he did when yeah, he was yeah, just starting yeah, yeah, out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you need to know this it's, it's probably it's from... fiji so i don't know this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably from so far gone or something bro like probably yeah okay, what is I'm, it what I'm, is the uh, song it's a uh, fear from what? so far gone i, I don't know is it from so far gone i can check it that's such an aman Pick, bro. Yeah, that's from so far gone, and I'm, I'm sure he sure. enjoys that song. Yeah, like, he yeah. loves this song. <laughs> I'm bro. pretty sure it's on. Uh... <laughs> it's from so far gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew it was gonna be from so far gone, bro. <laughs> the most generic Drake line I've ever heard. But okay, yeah. So we're okay. still six five to me, and go on. Simple one. Just quick. Let me sing. Be quick. Okay. Yeah. I heard you good, with them soft lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, word lips. of mouth. <laughs> The square root of sixty-nine oh, something is eight something. Can you right? sing that, please? Yeah, no, you know the song. I'm gonna sing it. I honestly, I'm I don't know the name. Right now. Yeah. Can you please sing it oh, for me, no. bro? We don't can know you it. Please sing it. <laughs> Sid, can you please <laughs> sing the song for us? <laughs> I really don't know the title. I, I would have buzzed in yeah, to get yeah, if yeah, I wanted too. to win. I don't know the title. <laughs> go go. Um, I heard you good. I heard you good with them soft lips. You know where I'm at. The square root of sixty nine is eight sum, right? Because I'm trying to work it out now. What? Oh, I know, I know this. It's with um. It has a girl on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Mama Hall Hus Smith? Okay, wait. <laughs> no, it's it's Rihanna, I think, and it's um. Uh... Take care. No. Bro, you can't buzz and not answer. I know. I'm just like. Procrastinate. Umbrella. No, that's Jay Z. Dude, that's Rihanna. That's Rihanna. Rihanna, yeah. Under no, my no. umbrella. And just Rihanna and Jay Z. It is Rihanna and Drake a, though. A, it's Rihanna a, and Drake. But your answer, your guess was wrong, so I'm gonna pass it on. I gave you this, man. Dude, Rihanna, Rihanna and, Drake. and Drake. Rihanna and Drake. It's um. It's not too good. Dude, I'm, I'm literally. Gonna, I'm gonna, okay, it's hum. not take care. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's an old song. It's from my time. I'm gonna hum the uh the the main part of the chorus. Okay. Let's see if you all get it then. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Na na na. Oh, what's my what's name? My what's name? my name? I said first. I said first, right? Man, okay, ah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Jay, yeah. How's that a Drake song, though? It is. Yeah. It is. I mean, it's Drake and Rihanna, I guess. and it's it's I on. Uh, it's his album. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys. So the last question. It's six all. The bro, yeah. the last one. I thought I deserved that Rihanna. Which, I gave you everything. I said it's not too good. It's did Rihanna. You guess Drake. It, though? Did yes, you guess I did. It? When he hummed it, bro. Even I guessed it when he hummed it. That's the point. No. <laughs> so I drop out. Lessons I was taught were quick. Quick to fade. Soon as I realize that I'm not gonna get me paid. Soon as I realize that turning papers in won't get me paid. And if I do nothing, I'm a ball. I'm a cunt. Cunt all, all day like, like a, a clock, clock on a wall. wall. Yeah. yeah, I need that. Yeah. Making major changes to the life I'm living. You had to make the root, some right decision. Can you give me the? Oh, uh, mama, underground yeah. kings. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Congratulations. One of my favorite songs. Of yeah, me. that was actually yeah. the first Drake song I ever yeah. heard, and it was played to me by Sid. Yeah. Okay. I okay. think he played. He played some. He played a nepotism <laughs> card right there. Bro. Yeah. So yeah, it was one of my favorite songs. Also, Underground King. I, I made you hear that song, and yeah. I. Uh, oh, you made him hear that yeah. song, bro. That was that the first, was first Drake, Drake song? song I ever heard, and oh wow, uh, he played it for he's me. He's given you a lot, bro. Yeah. I feel like he's given you a lot. <laughs> Give me a lot. You should. You should thank him. I have sold. I sold the seeds for. Yeah, 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 yeah. To Underground Kings. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, seven. And six, I win that round. I think it was yeah. a good. It was. It was a good. It was a good one. It was a good. good one, yeah. I enjoyed that game actually. Yeah. Shout out Aman. Yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was uh, a more nuanced album review than we've done in the past. Yeah. And if you did enjoy, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you thought about the album. And also, uh, we are planning on coming out with a Drake bracket as yes. well, sometime yeah. soon. So that's going to be fun. Stay tuned for that as well. Follow us on Instagram if you want to participate in that cuz we're going to do the big bracket style thing again yeah. and for Drake it's going to be even bigger. Yeah, it's going to be huge. It's I think for huge. us to narrow it down to 67 will be huge. 64. 64. Why would we ever do an odd number? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I don't even know why I said that. I don't even know why I said that. Uh, we'll do yeah, 69 yeah, and know, then the square root of that is um eight some No, 67. 67 states. Ah, that's in my head, bro. <laughs> now for Drake, I think we'll do a 128 bracket that they'll bring down to 32. Okay, that's cool. Before we before we wrap it up, like just a shout out to the FPL league that's going strong. Yeah, who is winning the FPL league right now? It's Sumer. I checked. Sumer. Yeah. Sumer Jamdian. Shout out, bro. Jay is still third last. And Karan Rathore. 
it has to be <laughs> dropped. Haven't <laughs> dropped, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need to, we need to uh, give a, like a, just a custom We need to give, to Karan Rathwa. Yeah, we need to give him a gift as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, also, uh, we have to announce the winner of the newsletter giveaway, the first newsletter. Um, it was a woman named Liza Thomas or Le- Lisa Thomas. I don't want to butcher your name. Either way, uh, we will reach out to you. We're going to be giving you Okay, uh, this is probably not that interesting. You're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get the clay mask from two episodes ago. But other than that, we are gonna throw in a gift voucher to one of our favorite coffee spots. So hope you enjoy. Thank you for part- participating. And if uh you guys watching wanna participate and be the winner for a future giveaway, don't forget to sign up to our newsletter in our Instagram bio. Having said that, thank you for watching, and we will see you on next week's episode of the Greatest Sports Show on the Internet. Yep. Peace. Said that if we have a setback, I'll kick him off. I'll take the setback. Having said that, if we ever get back, I'll play it off like I never meant that. Having said that, the greatest talk show, man. You already know this is having said that. Having said that. Having said that. Having said that.